Hey guys and welcome back to another one. Now today we are going to take a look at a 2.5 inch dual bay raid enclosure. And we are back and starting as always with a very quick unboxing experience as you guys can see on screen pretty straightforward nothing major right over there now when we take a closer look at this docking station which actually is and I've been testing over the years a lot of 2.5 inch and 3.5 inch uh, enclosures, NASH units and so on and so forth this is actually the first 2.5 inch with dual bay um, rate enclosure so that's interesting in this point of view now looking closer as I was saying as you guys can see this is made of plastic and it's not a bad plastic at all um, it's uh, very similar to other units that I've tested in the past now in terms of connectivity as you guys can see uh, it has a USB 3.0 connection a DC in which I've never used so far even using the two uh, hard drives inside or two SSDs inside also it has the power input that I've mentioned and a selection button for the RAID 0 RAID 1 or G pod and of course the dual bay that uh, will have a space for at the same time two SSDs or two mechanical hard drives with 2.5 inch now in terms of usage it's really simple all we need to do is to select the RAID mode that we want to use and then we press the reset switch and that is it now a word of caution is that every time that we select a different RAID mode it will delete all the data that we have on our hard drive so just have that in mind now in terms of speed tests as you guys can see on screen I got a maximum result of 430 3 megabytes per second on writes and 415 megabytes per second on reads and this was on JBot using the ADATA SU800 which is the fastest uh, SSD that I've got and this is the maximum that I got on this SSD over USB 3.0 so this means that the enclosure is doing its job it has UASB support so uh, it will take advantage of the maximum of the SSDs so that is great now the other results that I also tested was RAID 0 and RAID 1 and as you can see there the results were not so good because the other SSDs that I've got are slower than this A data and that means that uh, the RAID array will take the slowest speed of the SSD because it's using the uh, both SSDs or hard drives um, and that are the results that we got so depending on the hard drives or SSDs that we use here we can get better results or worse results so in conclusion guys what I can say is that this is an interesting solution for someone that is looking for a portable external storage solution that at the same time will give us some safety now honestly I would not use this on a RAID 0 configuration because it has UASB support which will give us uh, the maximum speed of any SSD that we can put in here with a SATA 3 connection over USB 3.0 but I do see it uh, the advantage of having for example one SSD and one mechanical hard drive that we can use one for fast transfers and the other one for storing more data or on a RAID 1 configuration where we can have a backup on the, um, the two drives so if we lose one drive we will have the other and we are talking about a portable uh, external solution not one of those that usually I use here on the office so in terms of portability I do find this, this enclosure interesting but of course this will depend on the type of usage that we have uh, especially in mobility and that is it guys hopefully you've enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget that usual thumbs up my name is Roberto George and as always I'll see you on the next one